What if your browser was AI powered and could actually control the web pages for you? Today I'll show you the new Perplexity Comet browser. It will save you hours of research and admin every week. I will use it in the real business tasks. We're going to update the HubSpot, doing emails and conducting research for my next YouTube video, and even pulling a lead contact into Excel. This is V. Welcome to Agentic Lab. Let's get started. Step one. What you are looking for is perplexity.ai forward slash comment, where press the button get comment that will get you to download section and then download comment. What you should see is a small 40 megabyte file comment install latest. That's the installation file itself. Press start install. And after a few minutes, you get installation complete. And let's get started. Comet makes migration painless. All what you need to do is to select which profile you want to use. You can import your Chrome or Edge bookmarks and passwords and even extensions in one click. Select the theme. It's a personal preference, but I don't like things starting up. Then start Comet. Let's open HubSpot and get ourselves logged in. So what you saw logging in into HubSpot on the Comet browser is straightforward. Comet browser is made on Chrome, Chrome by itself being a large portion of it open source. So it means the same way the way you use Chrome or Edge, you could use Comet. Compared to other AI browsers that operate in the cloud, this one, because it's local, you don't need to hand over your passwords and credentials elsewhere. It works exactly like your normal browser. What you're seeing on the screen is the demo account of HubSpot with some fake and not real account data. Next step, open the system and we can ask you questions. So let's say filter to open and in progress deals only and write the summary on each deal. It's important to note that you can interact with Comet Browser in other ways as well. You can, for example, dictate to it. Produce a summary of the deals based on the due date of the deal. Just like that, you can now interact with the browser and ask questions using voice. For the next demo, I'll start researching my next YouTube video. The next YouTube video is going to be about GenSpark AI. Research GenSpark AI use cases in sales, marketing, customer support. Research the community feedback. Provide pros and cons that I could then use to create a YouTube script. Now that is a functionality of the normal perplexity done there in the Chrome browser. You can see it's conducted research. It has its sources and other references. Let's now convert that into a script. I'll open the word. Now, Perplexity Assistant in the Chrome browser is aware of all the other tabs. So what I can do, I can speak to it and ask to use information from other tabs to create and complete work on another tab. Use the research about GenSpark AI available in another tab and complete this document with a talking points for YouTube script about GenSpark AI related to business owners. You could see from what it's doing, that it's reviewing the tabs in the browser history, it's reviewing other tabs and its content over there, it's fully and completely aware of those, it's summarizing information from other tabs. And just like that, Comet populated a Word document in this tab on this screen that you see based on information and research that was conducted in a different tab. Imagine how that can change your day, especially if you have a Chrome with lots of tabs that needs to be organized, filtered, notes added to another place. For my last demo, I have a project to reach out to some of the local schools about a community event. This would be if you were to try to sell something to a number of businesses locally, you could ask Perplexity Comet to research those businesses and a contact information. So what I'm going to do, I will open the blank Excel file, open our assistant. In the assistant, I'm going to ask research primary and secondary schools in Eastleigh 
I'm sure UK, unpopulate the Excel spreadsheet with publicly available contact information of the schools and relevant associations. I made spelling mistakes, I rushed it, but that's okay because the perplexity will understand, it will look past the grammar mistakes and it will do the research online despite that. So what you're seeing there is doing research, not necessarily in another tab, it's doing research through its API. It then retrieves that information and it knows that it needs to populate the Excel file. It will decide for itself how this Excel file should be structured. It will take the information available from there decide the table content and we'll start populating it. And here we are, it gives me a neat table straight in Excel file. No endless copying pasting. Imagine how this can simplify hours of research that you might need to be doing would that be for a sales operations or any kind of outreach. But to be blunt, not everything perfect. Keep in mind for these potential issues with the browser. First one, security. Recent audits flagged issues like the prompt injection. If Comet summarizes a malicious page, it could execute hidden commands. So guard against phishing and unknown sites. Issue number two, privacy. If Comet hooks into your email, calendar, drive, check what's being shared. The information it gathers does get sent to third-party servers. Issue number three, reliability. AI assistants sometimes get it wrong, missing context or misreading data. So human review is still a must. Comet is new. Connectors and enterprise-grade controls are still developing, and that might take some time for you to have the full control over the process. And consider the benefit for your business. Is only one or two people using it? Could you really get the full benefits unless you scale? So where should you start if you're considering Comet? Here's what I would do. Pick a team or member the drowning in repetitive admin. Sales or ops would work well. Identify two or three workflows like email, follow-ups, procurement research, or competitor tracking. Test those workflows in the comment and measure the time saved. And of course, build the guardrails. Define what data it can access and keep humans in the loop. Evaluate ROI of using tools like Comment before rolling it out wider. That way you will see quick wins without exposing your business to unnecessary risk. So that's perplexity Comment browser in action. From setup to real workflows, plus the risks you need to know. If you want more practical AI demos like this, hit subscribe and click the bell. I'll leave a couple more videos on the left that you might find interesting. And I'll see you in the next one.